Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today's topic of interest, the lights on your router. We're going to be talking about what all of these individual lights mean and the different statuses that each of these lights can be in. It's important to understand up front, these lights are meant to provide you with a status of the device as a whole. And by understanding what each of these lights mean, you'll have a good idea of the current status of your router, if everything is working properly, or if there may be some things you have to troubleshoot. So with that, let's take a closer look at the lights on our router and talk about what they mean. Okay, so I think the best thing to do here is we'll take a look at each light first. And then we'll go through the different statuses or the different states that each of these lights can be in. And some of these, you can see over here, some of these aren't lit up currently. But we'll get to that and I'll explain that for you. So let's start over here left to right. This first light, pretty self-explanatory. That's your power light. If the router is plugged into an outlet and it's powered on, this will be green. These next two lights, they stand for the two wireless networks that are broadcast by this router's antennas. These two Wi-Fi networks, one is a 2.4 gigahertz network, the other is a 5 gigahertz network, and that's what makes this router dual band. The fact that it has two different networks that it broadcasts. The thinner one is 2.4 gigahertz. The larger or wider one is 5 gigahertz. Okay, this next light here, this indicates if your router has internet access or not. So as you can see here, it's green. This router is connected to the internet. It has an active internet connection. These next four here, they're not lit up currently, and these next lights are indicating the Ethernet port connections on the back of the device. So basically, let's see if we can spin this around here. Your router has four Ethernet ports on the back of the device. These are used to provide devices with wired connections to the Internet. As you can see, they're not lit up. That's because there's nothing connected to the Ethernet ports on the back of the device. But what happens if we connect something to the back of the device? We'll connect something to the first Ethernet port. We see that that light, that corresponding light, lights up. What if we plug that same device in the Ethernet port next to it? As you can see, Shocker, the next light lights up. And the same goes as we move down the line here. Here's the third Ethernet port. That lights up. The fourth Ethernet port. That lights up as well. So all these lights here, these four Ethernet port lights, all they are going to tell you is if you have a device connected to that Ethernet port. If you just have an Ethernet cable, so let me unplug the other end from the device. If you have an Ethernet cable plugged into the back of your router and it's not connected to anything like right now, it, this light will not be on. It will only turn green if it's connected to another device that's powered on. Okay, these last two lights here, the first one is the universal signal for a USB. My router has the capability to take this USB device, plug it into the back, and it allows me to share media or files with anyone connected to my home network. So when we plug this in, it's going to take a second, but then the USB port will light up green. Plug it in the wrong way. Let's 
Let's see. Let's give this another try. Yep. Piece of cake. There it is. There's your USB device plugged into your router, and the light is green as a result. This last light here, and I'll get you a little bit closer. This last light right here, it stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. Now, I've disabled this on my router for security reasons, so I will not be showing you what it looks like lit up. But essentially, this light right here, if you're currently using Wi-Fi Protected Setup to connect a device to your router, it will be green. It will be on if a, if a WPS connection is established. If it's in the process of pairing with another device, it will just blink green. Okay, so that covers it for all of the lights on your router. Now let's talk about the status of each of these lights. Okay, now that we've talked about the different lights on your router, let's talk about the different states these lights can be in. And there's no better way to show this than to power off and then power back on my router. So let's do that. Let's unplug the power cord from the back of the router. As you can see, all the lights have turned off. The power light, most notably, the power light is off, as would be expected. There's no Wi-Fi networks being broadcast because the device is off. Same with the Internet connection and the Ethernet port connections. There's no power to the, to the device, so these are all off. So let's plug the power cord back into the back of the device. And you will see here, during the boot process, you'll see all the different states of these lights. So one thing to keep in mind here, keep an eye on the power light. It's a solid green right now, but as it starts up, you'll see that it starts to blink green. All right, so here we are. The router is starting up, so it will blink green. Now let's take a look at what the next lights that pop up are. It should be the Wi-Fi lights. And right on cue, there are the Wi-Fi network lights. The 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz lights are lit up. That means your router is broadcasting Wi-Fi networks out of its antennas. The next we'll see light up is your internet connection light. So let's give that one a minute. So basically what this light means, it's orange because it hasn't established a connection to the internet. It knows it's connected to your modem, but it hasn't gone through and received that internet connection from your modem yet. When it does, this light will turn green, so we'll give it a minute to do that. Oh, and there it is, right on cue. So it's turned green, which means it's now receiving the internet connection from the modem that the router is connected to. And this covers all the lights in terms of their statuses. Everything else will be off or on, with exception to the WPS Wi-Fi protected setup light, which I described earlier. All right, folks, that just about covers it. Now we've covered all the lights on your router, as well as the states that these lights can be in. One thing that I'll caution you, or, or just something to keep in mind, is that your router's lights might look slightly different than mine, but they will likely have the same indicators. Your owner's manual for your router will usually break this information down, but it's useful to see it in person as I showed you today. I'll also link to a blog post down below that I've written that goes into a little bit more detail about these router lights. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. If you found this video useful or informational, hit it with a like button, hit it with a subscribe. There's going to be plenty more material coming down the road, so stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.